Welcome back, Achievers, to a special reacts to mm. PS5. Oh, what do you call that, okay. Alex? It, um. it, 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 no, no, <laughs> it's 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 uh the road to PS5. Literally, only developers should watch this. Okay, so why did okay? All right, uh, so watch the video if you haven't yet, uh, please, Achievers. It's about forty something yes. minutes. But it, I'm be, I'm be real with you. Don't actually watch it. Scrub through it. I'll bring you in on everything. It, the, the PS5 real strong. Got good audio. It's nice. The, it, that that conference yeah. right there, that was not for me. That was not for Alex. That probably wasn't for you if you're listening to this either. Um, that was for people who want to make games and want yeah. to make games with a PS5. That was yep. not. I don't know that why is- they marketed this to the road to PS5. Yeah, because this was supposed know. to be done at GDC, and they yeah. didn't. They should have just well, put it up somewhere. Yeah, or just release it normally. Like, just, hey, this is a GDC talk with Mike Cerny. Most people don't know who Mike Cerny is. Mike Cerny is, like, chief architecture behind PlayStation. Mm-hmm. He is he's as he's as techie guy as you can get. He is, yeah. te- he is super smart. When I got excited for this event... Um, I w- looked up what it was going to be because it came out yesterday, I think it was. Mm. They were like, oh, we're going to do an event tomorrow. I'm like, cool. And then I said, then I saw the name Mark Cerny. I'm like, this is not going to be a reveal event. This is going to be the GDC talk. And yeah. I was right. Surprisingly, I was right once. Um, that all That's all it was. Mike, yep. Mark Cerny, um, if you ever see his name on something, he's going to be up there talking very intelligently, very eloquently. He's a very smart man. And He's just talking about the the tech, and that's what he did. Yep. Um, I know. Uh, I do, PlayStation deserves this one. They hyped this up. That's their fault. I don't know yeah. marketing. I don't know if they were told to do this. I don't know if marketing wanted this to be popular. But that is not what this was. That, that should not. PS Five. You could have gone into that not even knowing PS Five was better to be talked about. Yep. And, and the, all they did was really talk about new tech. And what is going to be in the be PS5. in the PS5, yep. Yeah, so it's not even really, like, in the guise of the PS5 even being talked about. Yeah. That was, that will, <laughs> that was, that was crazy. It, it was, it was fun to joke around with Alex the whole time and, oh, ha, ha do this. He looks like the guy from Master Disguise. <laughs> <laughs> Dana Carvey. He looks like Austin Powers. Like we're just messing around and stuff like that. But for the general public, don't watch that. That was yeah. that was a really long explanation of your games are gonna look and sound really cool. Yeah, because if if you're like me and don't know any of that stuff that dude talked about, I mean, it all sounds super cool and stuff. But it is way too intelligent for me. So I was just like I. I couldn't understand some of that. I'm stuff. not gonna sit here and pretend like I understood it either, but I am fascinated by that. Stuff. No, no, so yeah, I, like some of that stuff. I'm like, like, oh, that sounds hear. cool, I but I don't understand he, it. Yeah, he explained how hard drives work and how pressing mm-hmm. works and how com- and compression and stuff like that work. I like stuff like that. And yeah. then when once it hit audio, I was like, oof, I don't know audio. I, that was real mumbo jumbo. No, it it was it was funny because he got to the point and he was like, oh, we're getting to the fun part, and I'm like, uh, what? <laughs> you're like mike no not right now no hey it's not mike's fault the, the, no no how for much sure. alex did you how many people are watching this on youtube on youtube there were six hundred and fifty-five thousand people watching that six hundred and fifty five thousand is that what you just said yes okay yeah so that was for sure so almost let's say a a, so half a, so almost seven hundred thousand people yeah, that that was that was a mistake. They should not have pretended like that was anything other than a very tech talk. That should have been that should have been released literally like called GDC panel or something like that. I don't yeah. know. GDC, of, of course, if you don't know out there, uh, is was canceled. So the, that's most likely the reason they uploaded this um, to show devs and be able to link to a YouTube. Why they broadcasted this live? Mm. No idea. Why they hyped this up? no idea that was a mistake mm-hmm. I, I, I you, you know we're the xbox guys here we know everything they just talked about through xbox telling us through xbox wire yeah and we know 
in the same ways too because they just present it in hey your games are gonna look cool um and then they get t techy but then they show us the full spec list and you're like hey you can just read this if you really want to know what's in it um and also here's this thing and, and like then that was that was a lot it was a lot um alex what, what what's your main takeaway from all that um i do i in my opinion i definitely shouldn't have like like it, it like it like you said it wasn't for me it, like if i was a developer then yes i should have stayed there and be like okay i need to pay attention so i know for upcoming situations like what games and things like that yeah you're deciding on to where know. to put your stuff you but know, i'm okay, a consumer i'm a consumer i just want to buy the system i'm not gonna understand uh what let's say for example a 10.28 teraflops with 36 cus at a certain gigahertz thing means so like like i'm like what that just sounds money like so i don't want to know why because <laughs> it sounds per expensive yeah so, i don't know that was that was crazy i'm trying to find where is playstation okay so let's see so, okay so this is the tweet that playstation sent out Tomorrow at 9 a.m. Pacific time, PS5 lead system architect Mark Cerny provided a deep dive into PS5's system architecture and how it will shape the future of games. And then Sony tweeted this and said, like, a bunch of clock emojis. So they... Yeah. They, they yeah, not. Sony definitely should not have done that. I don't, I don't know why they did that. I don't know why they got so excited. I don't... I don't know, but hey. Yeah, because they... they're literally overhyping people, and then people are going to get upset. And that's how you get uh, people like, to where, like, oh, okay, that will, if there's a next, another review, I don't, I don't believe it. So, yeah, I'm just going through like the tweets at it. It's basically all just, Wait. oh, I'm excited. I mean, like, oh, I'm excited. Here's an excited GIF. Here's an excited thing. And it, it, yeah, that was that was. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie to you. I think I feel like that's how you lose people because you 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 over you get them so excited for a certain item that they want, and then uh, like with some people, you know, they're gonna be disappointed from what they just saw and be like, you know what, I'm I'm not dealing with this. Usually, I, I'm gonna bring Nintendo Directs up. Usually, okay. I'm in the camp because people get so overly excited about some Nintendo Directs and Smash yeah. Brother things. I'm like, this was kind of on you guys. Like, this was kind of your fault. Like, mm -hmm. at no point did they say get hyped for this thing or, or like, because they get hyped up with rumors and they're gonna think eight things are gonna happen in reality. None of it happens. Yeah. But this specific scenario, I feel like it's it's almost all PlayStation's fault no, for, for getting sure. everyone hyped up. And then people online are saying, oh, people are being like mad. But I'm like, yeah, but like some of them should be probably mad because like they were hyped up and they put and some yeah. of them wasted an hour watching that or 30 minutes yep. or whatever. Yeah, because so, I mean, like I, some people don't have that time and they, they, you know, they have important things to do for these type of systems. So they're trying to get all the information, but yeah. then they realize that they're, it, it's not really anything. Yeah, if they got six hundred and fifty thousand views on just that one YouTube page, they probably got a million from every other random thing combined. So about a million people probably no, yeah, watched for that, sure. and and went what? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> because they were. I like me. I admit, I, I was wrong in this. I I was expecting super techie talk, but I did think we were seeing the box. I thought we were at least gonna see I, the system i don't know man i honestly the only no, thing i would have thought we would have seen is maybe system. price that's or something but nothing yeah i didn't think i didn't think we get price only because it's like it's see price i don't know but when i hear i I, I don't know I, I like i said i knew who mark Sony was so i knew what i was getting as soon as i realized who was talking i'm like oh we're getting we're getting tech. That's all mm -hmm. this is. But yeah, like like I was saying, it, this was. I can't blame people for expecting something. Was the thing was called Road to PS Five. I got excited too. No, yeah, I said, oh, Road to PS Five. I wonder what we're talking about. <laughs> yeah, nothing. And I, and I, I think. Yeah. This, I think honestly, at the end of the day, this just really shines. Uh, how Xbox handled their Series X. Oh, and again, sure. we're the Xbox people, so of course we're like a better blah blah blah. But still, though, like them doing the little articles, giving you in piecemeal, and then like here's another one. Oh, okay, here's our big blow. We did two days ago. We just recorded our podcast on that um, over on YouTube.com/slash You can get us the 
the watch time stuff on that. But anyways, y we can go over there. We talked about the specs. They did everything they just did in a more compressed manner and didn't get people hyped. Mm-hmm. Yep. And, uh, and uh, that was, I feel like, the right way to go. Alex? Yeah? It, 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 uh, timeline. We are in, this is March 18th. Yeah. Assumingly, as long as the coronavirus does not delay any system launch, we're getting this October, November. When November. are we getting this reveal? The reveal, we're going to get... So, E3 was supposed to be in June. Hmm. May, maybe May. May. Yeah. May. I'm thinking May as well. Like in May. Like in May. Now that there's nothing in June, I mean, I, I will, Microsoft is still having their their digital or like their on their stream or whatever in June. I, I assume. I think I think they're going May. I think yeah, they're going to so. go May and then just be like, hey, we're going to go out before Xbox does because we've been behind every do, other way. Do you that think? Release things. Do you think that um, because is people are a lot of people are going to probably be upset about this because they thought it was For more. Sure. They're probably push up the reveal so like i say it was supposed to be mainly mm. and said we'll get it mid like april i think i think if i was running it i would yeah. i don't think they care um because if they did care they wouldn't have done mm. this in the first place yeah uh, i don't think this is as big a deal as them like all right now we have to release a statement apologizing i don't think we're like i don't think it's that bad i just think they met they they messed up honestly at the end of the day they kind of got just advertisement off of this and people are talking about the ps5 mm. so maybe at the end of the day hey we're getting you twitter likes and we're getting twitter comments so who cares yeah. but i don't i don't think this really affects them at all i don't think they honestly care that much um this is insightful right here. I'm gonna. This will essentially break down the whole event and how this shapes up against Xbox. Thank you, uh, Ryan McCaffrey, for tweeting this out. I was just going through my Twitter Ooh, to see if there anything. Uh, <clears throat> love that guy. If I have it right from that PS5 reveal, 10.28 teraflops on the PS5 versus 12.155 on Xbox. 825 gigs uh, solid state drive versus the one terabyte on Xbox. Mm. 3.5 gigahertz max CPU clock versus the 3.8 gigahertz on Xbox. Same 16 gigabyte GDDR6 RAM as Xbox. Major focus on audio. Backwards compatibility is there, but it's not as 100% as Microsoft. Mm. And then he ends the tweet with, so probably cheaper than Xbox. I think this will be cheaper because they don't have a choice because mm -hmm. even if it is the same price, they can't be the same price. I'll no, no, no. It. It can't be I think it's going to be the same thing know. as the last systems. I think it, 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 X is Series X is going to be five, and then this one's going to be four. PlayStation will be four. Yeah, probably. That's a that's a big win for PlayStation. I mean, if you're cheaper and nearly as strong, then you're going to well, get the sales. Yeah. Well, they better hope everything's good. Well, because well, how much did they say that thing was worth, f or to make? Well, four twenty or something. So they would have to do like four fifty. I mean, they could take a loss. They could take. They could sell the system mm. at a loss. Now that's terrifying because literally yeah, every is. system you sell is losing you money. <laughs> so eventually, yeah. you want to like stop selling systems because you're just eating costs. Yeah. Um. I mean, they sold a lot of PS4s, so maybe they can afford it. But I, at the end of the day, they do want to sell it at a gain. So. Maybe they go for 450. I did forget that they said they that it's priced at 420 manufacturing. Yeah. So, and hey, and maybe we're looking at an Xbox at like 600. dollars I don't know. Mm, um, I don't know, be, man. I don't think so. I don't. I don't think so either. I hope Xbox has been smart with everything so far for this system. So yeah. I don't. I don't think they're gonna uh, like screw it up with their price. I, I hope not. I, I, I wanna I, I want to mirror your hopes and uh, dreams. Hopes yeah. <laughs> not even that, just your uh assurity, like how sure yeah. how sure you are. I, I wanna I wanna be that sure, but I'm just looking at these specs and I'm like is this thing gonna be six hundred bucks, man? Jesus Christ, like a solid state drive of terabyte, like that's expensive. Mm hmm I'm I just want to I want to know the prices. So we're so close, Alex. Yeah. We're so close. We're six months roughly uh, away from fully knowing everything about have, our systems have they said how much xbox was cost manufactured like like to like um, how much it cost only, to make only rumors it was uh 440 uh, high end was 460 
Mm. Sorry, low end was 460, high end was 520. It's something around there. It was just okay. rumors. We don't want to know for sure. We know the PlayStation one though, because that was leaked. Yeah, yeah. Um, so interesting times, Alex. What? Anything you want to leave the audience with that? Uh, there's not too much to talk about. That that's essentially everything. That it, Brian McCaffrey summed that entire one hour conference into a under 120 characters tweet. Probably. <laughs> we got so like we were just sitting here trying to figure out that you went and went to go play kingdom hearts <laughs> i forgot about that yeah so i told alex halfway through like and this is the part i play kingdom hearts because i re- I figured out i was like okay i'm right this is just cerny talking cerny stuff <laughs> and then alex heard it through because we're yeah i'm just sitting here and all i hear is the main hearts. menu and the tick tick yep. like, well, select i'm like are you actually playing kingdom hearts he's like you think I was lying? Uh, yep, I, I'm not lying. I'm playing this thing, man. And I literally <laughs> went and played solitaire because all I had was my computer in front of me. Yeah, it, it is. It is seeming though that these systems are going to be closer in specs than I thought. I did think it yeah. was going to be a little crazier. Now, mm-hmm. Alex, <clears throat> let's assume this comes out at six hundred dollars Series X. Okay. Is does it make it better if Series S comes out right alongside it for three hundred dollars? Hmm. Do you think they would do that, or I wait a little would. while? Um, I. We know it's in development for sure. We know yeah. it's Project Lockhart. They like to pretend like it's not, but it, for sure it is. Um, so my only question is if they trust consumers enough to release both at the same time. Mm-hmm. Um, and I say that I know that's a weird statement to say, and what I mean by that yeah. is do they trust consumers to understand what's going on and not just be confused and go, I'm just going to buy a PlayStation because there's one thing and I can buy it. Mm -hmm. I do think they look at that and go, we need to just release the series S next year, maybe, but I would, I would hope for the best and release both because Mm -hmm. if my system is 600 bucks, which I don't think it is. No, then I need a cheaper solution for the parents that look at that and yeah. just get sticker shocked by like I'm not spending six hundred dollars on anything, right. let alone a system. So I'm gonna I'm I'm thinking and I think I'm this is gonna be my 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 bet my my oh. guess or my bet. Okay. So Series X hot. is five hundred. Series S is gonna be an all digital thing, so no disc drive again, and that's gonna be at like you said three hundred. Uh huh. So $200 difference. And uh, people can get the X, I think, around may, around the same price as the S because, I mean, it, there's still a disk drive, but it could run very similar. I just don't know how that's going to work because I don't know how low they can take the 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 X. Maybe the X will stay at 3 and then maybe the Series S will be at 350 or something. So I don't know. Okay. I don't think it's crazy. Yeah. I don't think it's crazy at all. I'm just oh, going through yeah. the reacts to the tweets. Just yeah. Uh, and I and we're right. Everyone's just basically upset. Mm-hmm. Like, like they were expecting something they they didn't get. Yep. And uh, everyone's giving chops to Xbox, being like, "Oh well, I mean, they did a better job than they did." Yep. <laughs> There's a lot of funny gifts. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> I'm waiting for I'm waiting for the one gift that shows Mike Cerny and uh, the guy who plays Masters in Disguise right next to each other. Wait, can you say that again? You broke up a little bit. Uh, the guy who plays Master in Disguise. Uh huh. Oh um, yeah, Mike. Cer- yeah. Uh, uh, Dana Carvey. Dana Carvey. Yeah, him and Mike <laughs> Cerny next to each other. Be like, oh, I found his twin. Yep. I don't know. What did you guys think of the PlayStation Five reveal event? Please leave it in the comments. Tell us. Tweet at us. Uh, at even one thousand at craving for skater for any thoughts. This was our react to the PlayStation Five uh, GDC talk. It wasn't really it, an event, and that was yeah, no. road to PS Five or anything. Yeah, it was supposed to be for GDC. Yeah, that for sure wasn't something that we were supposed to watch and like be excited be for. As yeah, they we were, do. Yeah, definitely weren't supposed to do that. Um, but yeah, what did you think? Were, were, were people are people allowed to be angry at that, or should they? Should they, that that's their own fault? Similar to like Nintendo Directs, where they kind of hype themselves up too much. So leave it in the comments. Thank you guys so much for listening. Check out our actual regular scheduled uh, uh, podcast that goes out Friday for everyone free, and you can pay for a dollar and get it early over on uh, Patreon. Uh, yep. Thank you so much for listening. Thank you yeah, so much. Have a good one.